Hey guys, so this weekend I watched UFC 300 and one of the things that stood out to me is there was so much sportsmanship that was on display. You would see, for instance, Kayla Harrison almost completely dominate Holly Holm and they're showing like a slow-mo of the finish and then when it cuts back to the live camera, you know, Harrison is giving Holm a hug and like, you know, being encouraging you know we we saw charles Oliveira. the first thing he does when he gets to the octagon is he hugs his opponent's corner man <laughs> we saw max holloway just for the most part you know it, it was a pretty one-sided fight against justin gaethje you know and he knocks him out at the end and again the first thing he does when he gets on the mic is call out Gaethje and say, like, no, I, I needed a good dance partner. He's a warrior. You know, I'm glad he stepped up. Throughout the show, we generally saw those kind of displays. And, you know, I was sort of musing to someone that I generally don't get invested in fighters. You know, I, I'm there to study the action. That's why I look at mixed martial arts. I'm interested in seeing, you know, strategy that's being applied. I did point out that, you know, I do feel better about my experience when the people who are fighting turn out to be genuinely nice people. You know, I think that's something that tends to be a little bit lost. If people only see the stuff that makes the headlines about mixed martial arts, they're going to think that it's populated by a bunch of ne'er-do-wells and miscreants. <laughs> you know, when you have Conor McGregor throwing a dolly at a truck and, you know, literally injuring another fighter inside as a result, that's what's going to make headlines. And if that's all you see about mixed martial arts, you're going to have a pretty low opinion of the people involved. So I guess where I'm going with this is that I appreciate that most of the fighters don't really have that sort of malicious streak to them. Most of the fighters are decent, well-behaved human beings, and I wish more of that got seen by the outsiders. And, you know, there, there's there been, you know, column A and column B since the beginning. You know, we, we've had Tank Abbott, who's mocking the guy that he just knocked out, but we also get Genki Sudo holding up that banner that says we are all one. You know, you, you get all of them. <laughs> Let's not let the folks who produce the eye-catching headlines, define our view of people who train and compete in mixed martial arts.